So we need to identify the prominent type of intermolecular force found in each compound. I will just do the first question. Okay. Um, so moving on to the PowerPoint, it just makes it a little clearer to see. Okay. And I will draw out um, the Lewis structures, but without, I won't include the lone pairs of all uh, four compounds. So uh, CHF3, so carbon, is our central atom. It has one hydrogen and three fluorines. So the carbon has no lone pairs, which is why it is tetrahedral in this case. Then we have OF2. So just like H2O, it is bent because the two lone pairs on the oxygen force the uh, bonds downwards. HF is just linear. Um, and CF4 is also tetrahedral. Okay, so now the three um, prominent intermolecular forces that you need to consider are um, hydrogen bonding, dipole dipole interactions, and London forces, which are also called van der Waal forces. They mean the same thing. So um, dipole um, intermolecular forces are between an um, electronegative atom and a less electronegative atom. So now as fluorine is the most electronegative atom, um, there's going to be a lot of dipole interactions between the carbon and the fluorine. So this is a dipole. Um, this one is also dipole, as well as CF4 is dipole. Now remember, we're not determining whether it's polar or nonpolar. It that is not relevant. All of these have dipole interactions. It doesn't matter the sum of the dipole interactions. Now HF is hydrogen bonding. So hydrogen bonding is only when there is hydrogen bound to oxygen, fluorine, or nitrogen. So those are the only three atoms that hydrogen can be bonded to for it to be considered a hydrogen bonding intermolecular force. Uh, now as well, uh, the question asks to identify the prominent intermolecular forces, um, but all of these have London forces as well. They're just not as strong. London forces are the weakest dipole being the second strongest, and hydrogen bonding being the strongest. Okay. Um, this one also has dipole as well. It has all three. But the hydrogen bonding is the, the strongest one, the most prominent intermolecular force. 